Hey there, Rebus Forever here. Welcome to the first one minute ish review of 2018. I was going to review both Kingdom games together, but they are distinct enough that while writing, I realised they needed separate mentions or a totally different format. Anyway, here goes. Are you content endlessly slogging back and forth like some cruel metaphor for life until the game ends? Do you like throwing pennies at peasants in exchange for their lifelong servitude? Do they mostly come out at night? Mostly. Kingdom Nothing Lasts is a 2D strategy village building survival game hybrid played with a mere four buttons. You begin the game as a mounted king or queen without a kingdom. Chancing across a handful of coins and your first potential subjects, you must settle by the campfire. Hire builders and archers to construct and keep safe your fledgling kingdom. Later come farmers and knights. The serene pixelated piece ends come nightfall, as portals spill forth creatures from the nether set upon the notion of tearing apart your humble village. Occasionally blood moons come, signalling a particularly rough night. Survive well enough, and in time your castle will be fit for any monarch. The game is all about balance, expanding, exploring, recruiting villagers, arming or equipping those villagers, and taking the fight to the portals at the right time. Knights, your only offensive unit, are recruited from an upgraded town hall which requires you find and upgrade the wooden shrine. On your travels, you will encounter shrines that provide perks to your archers or walls, chests, traders, new rides, and the enemy portals. At first, your gold is tight, and every coin makes a difference. Once you get a few farms up though, your peasants will shower you with gold exactly like an opposite world version of my Patreon. I mean, if all of your stuff didn't get numbed by the baddies, of course. The gameplay is meditative and calm while still being challenging to the newcomer. Once you get the gist of what is required of you, completing the game a little quicker each time becomes the challenge. To keep you coming back, the game's excellent sound and music help punctuate key moments. The art style, though basic, can be fairly beautiful at times, with each new dawn feeling like an earned moment of wonder enhancing the game's various maps. I really like this game and couldn't recommend it harder at 4 quid to anyone wanting a relaxed but challenging unique take on the idea of a survival village building game. This is the most kingdom you'll ever likely experience with less than a handful of buttons to press. So let's consider this a uh, warm-up uh, review for the year ahead. If you like this video and want to support there being more, there's a Patreon. If you want to stay in contact, there's a Steam group. And if you want to know when my videos actually come out, because YouTube notifications kind of suck, um, there's a Twitter. Thanks for watching.